hello everyone this is lucky and i welcome you guys back again to this tutorial section so guys have you ever come across a scenario where you have only one bootable usb flash drive to install window and you have multiple system where you are going to install windows on them and it's going to be a time wasting by using only one flash drive to install window probably you are trying to install window on all this system here now you have to wait until this one finish installing and you have to install it on this one and you have to install it on this one that can be a whole lot of time wasting right now in this video i will show you a simple step-by-step -step process on how you can duplicate or clone your usb flash drive which is configured to install window into other usb flash drive which have nothing on it by following this step-by-step -step process that I'm going to be showing you, it's going to actually save you time instead of going online to download the ISO file to make this flash drive bootable. Now, by following this step-by-step -step process, I will be showing you in this video, you'll be able to clone this USB flash drive which have Windows 10 or Windows 11 installed on it, be able to clone it into this other one here so that you have multiple USB flash drive which you can use to install Windows. And in case if you have not created any portable USB flash drive which you use to install Windows, I'm going to leave a video link in the description of this video so that when you click on that link, it will take you to the previous video which I have made on how to create a bootable Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. Alright, so with that being said, let's now jump in into the video. So the software we are going to be using to achieve this uh, cloning process is called the Alme Partition Wizard. So I already have the software downloaded on my system. So I'm going to leave the download link in the description of the video so that whenever you click on the link, it will bring you to this page where you are going to um, see the download uh, dashboard right so and this software is compatible with the newest edition of uh, windows which is windows 11 so as you can see here uh, a whole lot of things that you can do with this uh, ome so from here you just go over to download a uh, freeway now when you click on this download freeway the download uh, page is going to pop out and then after downloading it you go ahead and install it so let's just go ahead and install it since i already have it downloaded on my system so i'll quickly click on the software and i'll accept yes and from here i'll choose english And from here, I will accept the license terms and agreement and click on install now. Alright guys, so now we are done uh, installing this program. Now let's go ahead and uh, plug in the two USB flash drive which we are going to be using in this tutorial. Here I'll connect the two USB flash drive. As you can see here is the Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive which has my Windows uh, files on it. As you know that when you copy these files and um, copy it to the to this uh, free USB flash drive, if you copy it and paste, it's not going to work because you need to make it bootable, right? So from here, as you can see, this is the Windows 10 USB flash drive and this is the empty usb flash drive which has nothing on it now if you have not uh, created this windows 10 usb flash drive now all you need to do is just to click in the description of this video and you will see a link on how to create your own usb flash drive either windows 11 or windows 10 right so let's go ahead and clone this usb flash drive into this 
empty USB flash drive here and launch the Ome software I'll just close this online section so guys from here as you can see this is the Windows 10 USB flash drive and this and this is the empty USB flash drive here so what we are going to do here basically is to click on all tools and then you go to disk clone wizard and from here as you can see this we're going to select this first option here clone disk quickly now this is the option that i normally go with now you can clone disk sector by sector clone and you can also do a quick clone so i'll be going with the first option there and then i'll head over to next and from here we are going to select the source the source drive right now the source drive is the windows 10 or windows 11 usb flash drive which you would want to clone to the empty usb flash drive so i'll go ahead and uh, select it and that is it here that is it over here so i'll just go ahead and uh, select that which is this disk 2 here that is disk 2 and i'll click on next and from here select the destination disk now i'm gonna go ahead and select the destination disk which is this particular one here here and after that i'll head over to next and finally it's going to ask me all data on this selected destination disk will be wiped out after you have saved the operation to physical disk now all you have to do is just to click on yes and if you have any file on this empty usb flash drive if you have any file on it just make sure that you have backed up all the files because this process is going to format and delete all the files and all the data on the usb flash drive right so i'll just head over to yes i'll click on yes and from here i'll click on next and after that i'll now click on finish and here i'll head over to apply click on the apply option there and then this is the program and is ready to proceed the program is ready to proceed please confirm the following operation and then click the proceed button to start so guys we have confirmed it the source disk number is disk 2 and the destination disk number is disk 1 and we are trying to clone from disk 2 to disk 1 so we'll just go ahead and select proceed and then finally now the computer is not connected to power in case of making any mistake in partition here you must make sure that you have a strong battery on your system here i have a strong battery on my system so by the end before, by the end of this i'm sure that the battery will not last before by the end of this so uh, it's asking me do you want to continue now if you don't have a strong battery it is recommended that you connect your system to power supply to avoid any data lost so i'll just select yes do you want to continue with this operation i'll select yes and then are you sure you want to start finally i'll click on yes and here the cloning process just uh, started we are going to give it a moment while the process continues
okay so the operation is successful and it has been completed so i'll just click on ok and then let's go to the file manager section so we can check and verify so guys as you can see here we now have a uh, windows 10 bootable usb flash drive to install window now when i open the two or uh, flash you can see that everything that is on this drive f is the same thing with the one on drive a all right so i can now eject it and use the this particular one to install our windows 10 right